Good evening, everybody. Welcome to your Tuesday evening Facebook Live. My name is Sarah Edwards, and I come to you guys live every Tuesday and Thursday to show you a fun new project that you can create super quick, super easy, and it is super adorable. I know there was a lot of supers in there, but it is really stinking cute. I know I say that all the time, but when I find something that I like, I literally make a million of them. Like, no joke, I will make a ton of these. They are so easy and duplicatable that I will be doing this um, a lot in the future, I can guarantee you. So, hello, good evening, everybody. If you're just logging on, say hello. Hi, Peyton. Hi, Heather. I'm just making sure we are live on my iPad, make sure the volume is down, and we're set to go. So it has been a crazy week for me. Um, I'm sure everybody else is just as crazy. I have to work 40 hours this week. There is just something wrong with that. It is ridiculous. Just kidding. I mean, everybody works 40 hours. I try not to, but this week I am. So I am juggling life just like all of us. And it's crazy. But I am still continuing my Tuesday and Thursday Facebook Live. I get off at 5.30 today and on Thursday. So I just get home in time to eat dinner and get out here and have everything ready for our live at 7. So hello, everybody. Hello, Susan. Um, oh, you're making dinner right now, Peyton. Sorry, I don't have my glasses on because the glasses fog with wearing a mask. So I wear contacts to work. And I don't see very well in contact, so I have to really get up to the screen to read the comments. But hello, everybody. So today's cards are literally using a 3 by 3 square. I did put the dimensions in the live before we went live. And I'll also be on YouTube as well. Um, so all the dimensions are on there. You need two sheets of 3 by 3 and then a basic white piece at 2 and a half by 2 and a half. That's it. And we are going to make the cutest funnest card. I don't think those are proper English, but that's okay. So hello, Valerie. Um, never thought you would. Oh, hi now, right? Okay, so let me point you down and we are going to get started because we have a few cards that we're going to be making. So this is the designer series paper I am planning on using. It is, it is called Sunshine and Rainbows. So I did bring in a full pack just so I could remember the name of it. But this I have used so much of. This is a free set, um, a free pack of paper that you get during celebration. So for any $50 order, you can pick this for free. And then you can flip it over and you have nice, bright, bold sides. I am definitely a bright, bold kind of person. So all of these colors are right up my alley. So that's the paper we're going to be using. And then I'm going to bring in the stamp sets. So I am using the Slimline Sayings stamp set. This does come as a bundle. Um, I actually was talking to my girlfriend Bev earlier and she had asked me if I had made a Slimline card and I was like, I have not. I should probably do that for this Thursday's live. But this stamp set, I love. I love the big bold of the happy birthday and happy for you and I love all of the great big images on this. And not only can this be a feminine image, I definitely think it can be a, a masculine image as well. So I made a couple masculine cards as well as a couple feminine, and I actually do need a sympathy card, unfortunately. Um, so I'm going to use the same design and technique for a sympathy card, um, but I have a different stamp set, and hmm, the stamp is here, but I don't know where the stamp set went that I was going to be using. Oh, well. That's okay. I'll find it. It's probably in my mess. And then I decided my design needed a tiny bit of pizzazz to it. So I brought in the checks and dot um, embossing folder and it fit perfectly the two and a half inch square basic white and it just gave it a little bit of dimension. So that's the um, embossing folder that I used. I'll bring that in really quick. It's kind of hard to see without something underneath it, but it's just little polka dots. So with further ado, let me bring in the cards we're going to be making. Okay, so I've made four of them so far, and I used the extra scrap to do the envelope. So I think this is definitely a masculine birthday card, which we don't do very many masculine birthday cards. And my husband's birthday is actually on Valentine's Day, so I might give him one of these because he loves this ice cream. 
He is definitely an ice cream guy. And then I decided to do one a little bit more feminine colors. And then the opposite paper, I just flipped it around and flipped the ice cream cone around and made another masculine. And then I did the same thing on the little ladybug. I just flipped the designer series paper and I did little ladybugs. So that is what I'm going to show you guys how to make. So before we get started, I wanted to just bring in my trimmer so I could show you guys how to cut the designer series paper. So you can pick whatever style you want. Um, well, those two look perfect. And it kind of depends on the punch you're going to be using. So if you're using um, the ice cream, really any of these would work. If you're going to use the ladybug, I would probably venture to a little bit subtle colors. I mean, you can make the ladybug whatever color you want, really. And then for the sympathy card, I brought in our dragonfly punch um, to do that. So you're just going to grab two sheets and you could really use one side and just flip it and do both sides if you wanted to. But I liked, I don't know, I just liked it using two sheets. So I'm going to line this up to the three inch mark and I'm going to cut it in half. Now this piece I'm going to use for my envelope. It is a little bit too big, but I just figured it was a good scrap to use. And then you're going to flip this over and you're going to cut this in half again at the three inch mark. So now you have your two three by, in, three by three inch squares and you could layer them this way or you could cut another piece and layer it on top. I mean, that way looks just as cute as well. And I thought to myself, I should probably see how many cards we could technically make with 48 sheets of six by six paper. I really did try to do the math in my head and it wasn't working. So if somebody wants to pipe in and say how many um, cards you can get with three by three squares, you need two of them out of 48 sheets. <laughs> okay, before we get started, let's see who else just locked, logged on. Melinda, hello. Anna, Valerie, Barbara, Rhonda, hello everybody. Hello Molly. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with these two three by three inch squares and I'm going to bring in the, um, the ice cream punch. So I'm going to slide this in and I'm just going to push, make sure it's pushed all the way down and kind of make sure it's even on both sides and then punch. So now you're left with ice creams in the center. And I'm gonna do the same thing to this side. There we go. We are definitely using these pieces as well as our little scraps. So let's bring in our card base. This measures um, four and a quarter by 11 and I scored it in half. I've already um, folded it and scored it. And now we're just going to figure out which one we want on top or which one we want on bottom. And hmm, I think that looks super cute. So we're gonna do the stripes on the bottom. So I'm just gonna gently use my adhesive. It's a love-hate relationship with green glue. I love it. There's lots of people that hate it. If you hate it and you're finding your fingers are all sticky, it means you're using too much. So literally, I'm just going around the edges and a tiny bit in the center. Now this one, it actually works perfect if you kind of line up the edges to the side of your card and line up the top to the tip of your card. And now you will hopefully be centered if you put your square down right. There we go. Super easy, right? And then this is a piece of two and a half by two and a half um, basic white and I already ran it through the embossing folder. Hopefully you guys can see that okay. I'm gonna flip it over and add some dimensionals. And four is probably overkill, but it's probably a tiny bit too big to not have one in each corner. And then I like to stick one in the center, just for good measures. I don't know, it's just me. So now this is going to cover the punch marks 
And look, nobody will ever know that you just punched the ice cream out of the center. So now you can pick whatever design you want. And your extra piece, don't throw them away because you can use them on another card just like this. And I did glue this down. I did not do dimensionals underneath it. Um, I didn't want it to be too thick in going through the mail. And yes, you, you guys are probably like, you forgot to stamp. I actually didn't forget. And I know many of you guys are going to be falling over in your chairs as I'm saying this out loud. But I waited till the end just to make sure I positioned it right. Um, and then I'm going to stamp. So I'm going to bring in the big happy birthday. And because it's a larger image, it really isn't that hard to make sure it's stamped straight. I know now that I said that out loud, it's not going to be stamped straight. But that's okay. That's how Facebook Lives go. So I'm literally just going to put it on the bottom. And I don't want to rock. I'm literally just pressing and I'm going to lift straight up. Eh, it's not perfectly straight, but I think it's good enough. So there you go. There is that one. And I have already decorated the envelope. So look, look how fun and cute these are. Okay, let's do another. Um, actually, let's do the ladybug. Let's do the ladybug really quick. So these are the two pieces that I picked for the ladybug. And I want the wings out of this design. Um, I don't know if it really matters, but those kind of looked more like hearts, even though they're rainbows. So I wanted um, the wings out of that one. So I'm literally going to slide this in, kind of make sure it's lined up. Thank you, Jessica. Hello. And we don't need this guy. Oh, I should probably tell you guys a funny story that I, it's, I probably shouldn't, but I'm going to anyways. So during the retreat, um, we used the ladybug stamp or the ladybug punch in quite a few of the make and takes. Well, I let, um, I open up my house for people who live far that they can stay here. And one of the ladies was in the house and she just went to the bathroom and picked up some toilet paper or got a lot of toilet paper and went to pick the bug up off the floor and when she went to pick the bug up, she realized it was the ladybug punch. So, yeah, she told me that story after the fact. And I literally was dying laughing. Like, that is the funniest thing. She really thought it was a bug on the floor. Okay, so I'm going to put a couple dimensionals underneath the wings. Just to make sure they look like they're flying. So now let's bring in our card base. And this one doesn't have to go on the bottom. It could definitely go on top as well. Um, but I just want to make sure our, um, what are those called? Our rainbows are going the right direction. So this one is going to have to go sideways. And I'm going to do the same exact thing. I'm just going to line up the edges and the top to make sure it's a perfect, it's lined up perfectly. So there we go. Scoot it down just a smidgen. There we go. Now let's glue this down. Make sure your rainbows are going the right way. At a glance, they really do look like hearts. Lay this one in the center. Grab a piece of our white. Add some dimensionals behind it. One more in the center. And you could really even add some rhinestones to this if you wanted to. There we go. And ladybug. Right in the center. Let's grab the flirty flamingo ink. Let's make sure I cleaned off the last color we used, which was Melon Mambo. Ink that up. Okay, I didn't talk while I stamped, so maybe I get a little bit straighter. Well, not too shabby, especially for a Facebook Live. It could be a lot worse. Okay, so there's the ladybug and the envelope 
is right there. So we have a matching envelope. And then let's go ahead and do the last color in um, the ice cream cones. And then we'll move on. I already have everything um, cut for the dragonfly. I wasn't 100% sure the punch was going to work in the cutting it in the center. So I went ahead and did it ahead of time just to be safe. And it did work. Get that out of the way. Bring in our card base. And let's see. I think I want... What? Yep, I think I want it like that. Actually, I want this straight. So this is probably the hardest part on this card is knowing how your designer series paper is going to go. Yep, I think I want it like that. I hope you guys liked this. So easy and you can get so many cards. Did anybody do the math? I haven't checked to see if anyone has done the math on how many cards you can get out of a pack. I don't know why I like doing that. But you can get a lot. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear Hank barking. I think the coyotes are irritating him again. Oh, pretty sure you can hear that. <laughs> there we go. Let's grab our last piece. And dimensionals. One in the center for good luck. Put that right there. Let's stamp in Bermuda Bay. And this, this one is actually a masculine color and card as well. Oh, you're on an, oh, that's right. I did see that you were getting on an airplane. Oh, you have the Wi-Fi on an airplane. Yes, it is much nicer than looking out the window. I always sleep on an airplane. Literally, as soon as I sit down, I am out. And everybody used to get so irritated at me because I would sleep as soon as we got on the plane. Okay. Oh, I think that's perfect. Just add some adhesive to the back. Oh, almost out of adhesive in this one. Oh, you stayed awake just for me. Aw, I love it. There we go. Look how easy that is. I do have a couple um, rhinestones. Let's throw a few on here to see if it makes any difference, which I really don't think anybody would say, oh, you probably should have put three rhinestones on there. But there you go. There's a couple rhinestones just for some bling. And I didn't save this one for last for any reason besides... I don't know. I just saved it for last. So I went ahead and cut out the dragonflies and it, it fit perfectly. So you could really just use any of our punches, I would think. Even the cats. Um, I know, I think the dog is retired, but you could definitely use the cats. For all of you cat lovers out there, that would be super cute. And the sentiment I am using on this one, I didn't ever find this stamp set that it belonged to, but I do have the sentiment over here. Oh, you know what we forgot to do on this ladybug? We forgot to stamp the um, little butterfly pieces on it. Darn it. I don't think I'm cool enough with the dimensionals underneath it to go ahead and stamp on it. I might ruin it. But we'll see how much time we have. Maybe I'll try it. So it's a do as I say, not as I do. Oh, and my things are upside down. For the love of God. I don't know, am I going to be able to peel this off? Oh my goodness, look at that. Ah, uh, maybe. Didn't I just say make sure your rainbows aren't upside down? I cannot believe that really worked. Okay, don't do this part. Especially on a Facebook Live. I know everybody's done it and everyone's probably laughing like, yep, yeah, that's totally me. Let's make sure I don't do it again. Okay, card opens this way. There we go. 
Okay. We always want to make sure we have our best work done. <laughs> I bet they wouldn't even have noticed it was upside down. So I'll add some adhesive to the back. I'm just going to put this one kind of in the center, but I do have the little guy as well. And I think that looks super cute beside him. There we go. And the sentiment I have is sheltering, sheltering you with love at the time when words fall short. So I picked um, Blushing Bride. This Blushing Bride is one of the colors in the designer series paper. And I didn't want anything bright or bold, just something subtle. Um, and I'm just gonna stamp this on the bottom. There we go. So you could use this design as really anything. You could do a get well. Um, you could do sympathy like we just did. We did a ton of the happy birthdays. Let's see if I am cool enough to do this. I, I bet I'm gonna mess it up, but we're gonna give it a try. I'm gonna push really hard, but I'm not gonna rock. Not too shabby. I think my ink needs to be, I need, think my pad needs to be re-inked, but not too shabby. I'm actually quite surprised that it works. Okay, so that is your live. Let me scoot you back so you can see all of these gorgeous, amazing cards. Just don't look at my mess. I have a mess everywhere. So there's this. So we have lots of masculine birthday cards. We have a lot of feminine birthday cards and all of them have matching envelopes. So that envelope goes there. There's this one. These ones actually might be my favorite. They're nice, bright and bold, beautiful colors. And this is Misty Moonlights. I did the Misty Moonlight ink. So there you go. Oh, here's another one. Polka dots. So that is your guys' Facebook Live tonight. Um, hopefully this has inspired you to get out into your crafting space and make a mess like I have. I would love everybody to have a mess in their craft room like I do right now. Hopefully tomorrow I can get out here for a couple hours before I go to work and get some things cleaned up. But who knows? It might be Thursday or Friday. But anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's live. I do have card class on Saturday. Um, I think there's about four or five spots available. So if anybody is interested in coming to card class, please let me know. It's um, Saturday at 8 a.m. or 11. So you can pick and choose if you want an early morning or a little bit later in the afternoon. Okay, if you need anything, please feel free to reach out. I will be here in and out um, throughout the week, but I'll be happy to help you. We'll talk to you guys soon. See you on Thursday. Bye-bye.